Oh, hey, this is me, Carolyn. I wanted to say a few words about um, what I've been up to. Before the pandemic, I was just finishing up or starting sort of on this new series that I was calling Planetary. Um, and of course, drawing cartoons all the time. I got some really expensive stretcher bars. They're really beautifully made from a local guy. And I started roughing in this painting and then I got completely stuck. Uh, the landscape went well, it's rough, but it went well. Then I wanted to add this unearthly sky, so I chose green and, but I kind of got completely stalled out on these figures, which tends to happen to me. So I sanded down a lot of it and started working over in oils and that uh, was working. A woman gave me a plastic bag full of stuffed animals. And I thought that oil paint might be great for them. I was trying to keep things fresher and uh, looser, hoping to work faster than uh, how things tend to bog down in my acrylics. Uh, anyway, so that was the first one. This is the second oil of the stuffed animals I did. Again, I kind of pulled them out of the bag almost as random. I picked the large ones. Uh, and I had that sheep thing. I wanted to do something green, so I hung a t-shirt back there. And uh, another thing. And then I had the towel under here. Um, I don't know why I'm getting so much glare on that animal. <laughs> now when these are varnished, right now they look a little too contrasty, but when they're varnished, they'll even out nicely. And uh, probably be a little bit satin varnish, but I have to wait like six months for that. And here's one I just finished. I'm very, very happy with the composition on this one. This is so wet, I was almost afraid to bring it in. So working without solvents, I'm literally kind of scrubbing the paint on the canvas. It's sort of more like drawing. Uh, starting with also a darker underpainting and going dark and light. Um, this one, I really like the composition. I like the fact that it and it goes up and down. It has that, started with the donkey and the frog for political painting. And then, uh, oh, I don't know, the fox. To me, there's a fox that lives right next to my building, so that's what he, what he means to me. And then, I guess the zebra and the panda kind of represent endangered creatures and this crab that went right off the edge but what can you do and sort of roughed in cat and hat I didn't want to overpaint him and strangely this background now again this painting is all about that red I, I put a shirt in the background one of my work work shirts work blouses it had that nice color, but strangely, it ends up coming out kind of like a Looney Tunes. If you guys remember Looney Tunes, and I have a kind of a dotted toile underneath it. I didn't think about it at the time, but these paintings, even though they're scary monsters or whatever, they're sort of comforting being stuffed animals. Maybe what we need right now is just some comforting. Here's a new setup I'm working on. I started this so that when I come out of open studio, I'll be able to really just hit the ground running. Here's just the start of that painting. Sometimes open studio kind of stops your process altogether. <laughs> 